My name is Mihaela Sabin, University of New Hampshire, Manchester, uh, New Hampshire. And my co-author, Hala al Rumai and John Impagliazzo. Uh, in um, December 2017, Association for Computing Machinery and IEEE Computer Society released a new curricular report called IT 2017, uh, also Curriculum Guidelines for Baccalaureate degree programs in information technology. Um, in this presentation, I'm going to offer some highlights from the report, um, also describe the IT curricular framework that guides the recommendations that the report makes. I will focus on IT competencies and conclude with some recommendations for implementing IT degree programs. So the, um, um, a group of 12 educators uh, representing academia, but also industry and international uh, professional societies uh, was formed in 2014 to um, accomplish uh, the vision of this curriculum report, which is helping educational institutions to worldwide to develop IT degree programs for the next 10 years. And the group uh, decided to approach this task uh, innovatively instead of slicing and dicing the knowledge, uh, the body of knowledge of information technology into areas and topics and units, uh, we decided to focus on competencies. Um, which are appropriate for baccalaureate degree programs in IT and also meaningful to both academia and, um, and industry. So the first challenge that we had was to come up with a clear definition of information technology. Uh, generally by IT we mean all aspects of computing. So in order to come up with a definition we ask ourselves what are the IT disciplinary contributions to computing. And um, this is what we um, proposed in the report. At the core of IT discipline, we have systemic approaches to capture the integrative nature of IT. Of the five computing disciplines recognized by the Association of Computing Machinery, Information Systems, Computer engineering, info, um, information software engineering, computer science, and information technology, we do believe that information technology is the most integrative. And then the next layer, um, how do we make and manage computing technologies with IT means? And here we have the five verbs describing that. Select, develop, apply, integrate, and administer secure computing technologies. And the interface of the discipline with the outside world, we do have the direct involvement of IT with the users, which is also very IT specific. Whether these users are individuals or public, private organizations or society at large. The next, let go here. The next challenge was to uh, define IT competencies. So competencies are very useful to bridge the gap between education and professional preparation and readiness. Thank you. Um, so what we mean in general by competencies are what somebody brings to the job. Qualities based on which uh, job performance would be demonstrated. So we decided to organize these qualities along four dimensions. The first one, the knowledge, the know what, um, is pretty much mastery of content, um, key concepts, core concepts of the discipline. So this is something that educators are very good at. When we have to share with a colleague what the syllabus of our course is, we immediately have the list of topics. Or if we want to say what our IT program is about, then we do have the list of IT courses. But knowledge is not, is not sufficient. So then the second 
the second dimension of skills, more of know-how, or what uh, Mihaly Polanyi conceptualized as tacit knowledge, um, is obtained, acquired through deliberate practice. And this is something that, for example, accreditation boards and commissions would um, classify under student outcomes. What can we do with what we know? The third dimension is something that has been quite common in teacher preparation programs, dispositions, but not so much in computing education. So one reference that I found useful um, in 2011 by Valerie Barr and Chris Stevenson was a operational definition of computational thinking in which they did include dispositions. So by dispositions we mean how disposed we are to apply knowledge and skills. And it's interesting that um, job ads in computing, they do have markers of dispositions, like being energetic, being enthusiastic, being resilient, being respectful. And while knowledge and skills, they sit within the individual, dispositions sit within cultural, social contexts. So we relate to the previous speaker when they talked about estimations quadrant, meaning the situations. So, um, so it is important, it is important, and I label the dispositions, dispositions as know why and know yourself. Um, and then, uh, indeed, they belong to a context, professional context, so it's not sufficient to have quizzes or uh, routine drill exercises to evaluate somebody's competencies in IT or any other domain. We are re really looking at authentic situations, and in report, we do emphasize the importance of internships, for example, uh, technical presentations with real audience, capstone projects with real or external evaluators. In order to give you a glimpse at the curricular framework that we have in the report, I was thinking of offering a couple of examples. So there are two principles that guided the curricular framework. One principle was in order to prepare a graduate in IT, uh, a baccalaureate degree program must have 1.5, one and a half years of IT studies. So if we are thinking of a program that has 120 credits, which is a measure uh, found in American universities, but not other places, then by 1.5 years of studies, we mean 45 credits. Now, if that program is somewhere in Europe and it's a three-year program, then 1.5 years of study would be 50% of the degree program. So we were very mindful that degree programs, baccalaureate degree programs, would have different formats when it comes to how much time it takes to graduate. The other principle was that the IT competencies would be categorized in three buckets. So we have the essential competencies that all graduates must achieve. We have the supplemental competencies that represent um, more specialized aspects of work that graduates must achieve. And then we do have electives. And this composition is reflective or is uh, mindful of offering uh, academic programs, departments, flexibility with how to design their programs. And then more specifically, when it comes to the essential domains of competency and supplemental domain of competencies, these are the, uh, these are the uh, competencies that we uh, arrived at through extensive uh, interactions with uh, uh, external audiences and public uh, through surveys and other conference uh, panels and workshop. Uh, disseminations. Okay. Uh, in addition to IT uh, requirements, we also recognize the importance of math and science requirements. And again, if we take the example of a 120 credits,
program, uh, we do have what it means for those programs. Um, there is also an overlap between essential and supplemental in the sense that what we see in the middle would be areas that would be further, would require further specialization. So I would conclude saying that um, the IT competencies cannot be taught and they cannot be learned in silos or isolation. And we like to think of the IT discipline as a tapestry where those competencies are interwoven. Uh, we do recognize the security is kind of thread that would go through all of them. And, and if we want to ponder this, uh, uh, this question of what these positions are in an academic program, um, I, would, I would invite, I, I, I would extend the invitation of looking outside hard sciences. So I really like creativity and uh, arts, what role they play. Um, and here I have Maya Angelou, an American poet, saying that people, I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. Thank you.